Hello, you guys. So today, oops, today I'm gonna be doing a little pack sign try on haul. I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a video today because literally, I showed up to school. I got to school early today. Okay early and no one was there and i was like okay it's because i'm early so i waited like 15 minutes and then i was like wait my teacher is not even here so i texted him and it turns out we didn't have class today but the thing is he won't tell us until the day of so like we literally had just had a six day weekend but he didn't tell us oh y'all are gonna have wednesday through monday off he's like oh no class tomorrow and then you know, Monday gets here. I didn't even know. Apparently, he sent out a remind. I don't get them, though. Like, every time, I don't get them. But, yeah, anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna make a video today because my hair looks good. Okay, well, then I just fell asleep for, like, eight more hours. <laughs> so, I still think it looks cute, but it looks... But, anyways, so, uh, yeah. It's weird because I ordered all this stuff at the same time, and then... This package got delivered, and then, like, two days later, this one did. But, um, yeah. I don't know what I got. I can't remember, but I feel like it's not that much because pack is expensive, for real. So, we're going to open this. I have a Sheen package coming in, and that's, I think, that's the biggest package. So, y'all look out for that video. That's going to be a good one. Anyways. I don't know if they even got the sizes right. Like, I'm a little confused. Why would I get a hoodie in a small? Unless it's a boy's hoodie, but I just don't know. Okay. 15% off your first order. Okay, I need something to scratch with. Look at this little spoon. It's so freaking cute. So go in spoon. And it doesn't scratch with the crap. What am I? It already freaking expired. We gotta start with the shirts. This looks small. This looks teeny. This is the first shirt. Okay. That looks really basic. Nice. I got this yellow shirt. Yellow's my favorite color. Although it's kind of orange, but it's kind of yellow. Okay, this shirt actually looks kind of thick. Like, you might not need a bra, you know? This is it, just regular tank top. I, don't... I ordered the Sheen stuff, the, the Pakistan stuff, and the Fashion Nova stuff all on the same night. I was just looking for something to spend money on. I don't know what was wrong with me. Having an episode... Okay, and then here's the hoodie. This is so thick, actually. Like, oh. pink. Let's see. It looks like it looks like it'll fit. You know, most of my jackets are like really, really big, but it, that one just looks like it'll fit. So that's good. Then. Got this one. It just says Paxson on it. Interesting. But they both look like smalls. That blue one that came separately, like a few days later, it's not even on my receipt, but I know I paid for it. I know I did. They just didn't put it on the order. All right, I guess I'm gonna try them on now. Okay, I'm gonna be wearing this bra because I love this bra. These are my new jeans. Fashion Nova. Look at how cute. Frick. They're so cute. Like, I don't know. I'm upset just because I know Pike Sun's more expensive and like this. It doesn't even fit right. It's literally nothing special. Okay, also they got all my sizes wrong. Because I highly, highly, highly doubt that I got the hoodie in a small. 
and the tank tops and the medium. Because these are supposed to be tight and like it doesn't fit. I wish y'all could see this. But it's literally there, there. It doesn't fit and it's not adjustable. Oh, I just have a feeling they got all of this wrong because I don't know why I would order that. I don't know why I would order those sizes. Um, okay, so this is really basic. And then it has little like, fuck. So much shit everywhere. It has these little lines. So I thought it might like, you know, be tight like this. No, it's not tight at all. So I don't know, this is disappointing. This one definitely fits a lot better. This one fits like a regular tank top. But yeah, that one, it was hanging out right here. Like, it was literally like this on that other one. It was too big, okay? This one fit. This one's actually, this one's really nice. It's called Easy Crop Cami. And the other one's called Brown Sugar Notch Tank. Just to let y'all know. I would get the crop cami. Okay. Oh, I guess I leave my shirt on. It says RW. Small. I don't know what RW means. I was trying to see if it was boys or girls. Okay, okay. Yeah, this isn't a small one. It is. kind of big so this might be a boys but it's freaking bright pink so I can't tell I can't tell I definitely think this blue one is boys this one's throwing me off though and this one fits like regular I swear this like body part it's just the same as the pink one, but the arms are regular length, not like six feet long arms, you know. So yeah, if I can figure out how to return this stuff, I'm probably going to be returning those, those, and I'm gonna keep these. Oh, this thing is hot. I'm sweating already, y'all. Okay, so that's what I got from Paxson. It was definitely worth it. That black shirt was like twenty dollars. That was not worth it. So I got something in my eye, y'all. Oh my gosh! Anytime I wear makeup, I get something in my eye. That's why I hate freaking wearing makeup. That's why I hate when my teacher cancels class like this out of nowhere. Cause like frick, I just put this makeup on. Now what? I'm supposed to take it off? No, I don't think so. So I just wear it all day, and then I have. I'm in so much pain. It hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. But first, I want to go to the school and report my teacher for a sexual assault. For some reason, I always, like, it's this eye that always messes up. But anyways, yeah, I have to report my teacher for a sexual assault. It literally in the classroom. And it's crazy because I used to work at a garage. I literally had my dream job. Except it did not pay enough. Not nearly enough. But they paid me the lowest out of ever, anybody else. So, I don't know. They were just... It was... Ugh. They always mess with me. My boss was low-key abusive. You know, he would hate me and stuff. But I actually had to quit because um, one of the guys who worked there... We'll just say he sexually assaulted me because I don't want to go into the details, you know. But he did, and that was on, like, a Friday or something. And so, on Monday, I went in there and I quit. And I didn't say anything until Monday. He's like, you should have said something, you know. Was anybody else here? And I said, yeah, two other people were here. He's like, you should have said something. I was like, I know, but I just, like, I don't know. I was freaked out. And I just wanted to get away from the whole thing, you know. And so, then... 
I quit and my boss told everybody what happened. And so the guys that were there, like that were there when it happened and I didn't tell them, he's like, you should have said something, you know it would have been on site, you know it would have killed him. And I'm like, yeah, okay, exactly. Yeah, that's why like also why I gotta go because there's a whole bunch of shady stuff going on, illegal stuff going on. Like, I mean, my boss was literally abusive, but yeah. So the dude who that's like, he got fired and I ended up quitting because I was like, I just, I don't want to be here anymore. And he's like, we don't have to leave because he's not going to be back. I was like, I don't care. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, so his uncle is my teacher who I need to go report. Yeah. And like, I would never said anything in class. I'd be like, oh yeah, I had to quit my job, but I wouldn't say why. I don't know. I guess I was like, I didn't want to embarrass my teacher. No, now he's doing the same stuff. No, I don't, I don't care. I was literally about to cuss him out in class today. So good thing we didn't have class because I don't know. I probably would have left in handcuffs <laughs> because yeah. Mm -mm. I don't like that. No, don't do that. Don't touch little girls. Like, one of the girls, a lot of the kids in my class aren't even legal age. Like, they're not. That's freaking weird. And I wasn't going to say anything. And I hadn't been saying anything because my teacher keeps saying he's going to retire. But I have his class next year. So... I definitely need to say something, you know. Too long, you know, he's just weird and he's always saying weird stuff. He's always asking to see pictures of people's moms. He's like, oh, hey, show me a picture of your mom so I can think about her later. And it's like, he has a wife. He's always talking about how he gets so much at home, like blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, then don't be harassing your students and their family. Like, that's weird. He was always asking to see pictures of people. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. and then he'll be asking to see pictures of me. I'll show him, and he like doesn't even recognize me. I'm like, I look exactly the same. I just have long hair. He's like, yeah, you didn't grow your hair back out. Show me pictures of you with long hair. I'm like, ugh, ugh. He's so gross. He's so freaking gross. Ugh. And then, literally. The last time that he had touched me was the same day that he said, he kept trying to get me to eat meat. And I'm like, no, I don't eat that. No, I don't eat that. No, I don't eat that. And so he's like, you can be vegan, but you still need some meat in your life. And then he'll wink like 7,000 times. Like, I should have reported him right then and there. I should have been like, mm -mm, I'm leaving. I got to go to the office, to the main office. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely doing that today because I can't stand it. I can't. No. And my mom keeps saying how it's a blessing. It's like, it's a blessing to be beautiful. Yeah, but it's not a blessing for me to be harassed 24-7, no matter where I go. Literally, me and my mom were in an empty parking lot. And I was getting harassed. I was like, that is just gross. It's freaking disgusting. And, you know, you don't even know all the stuff that I've been through you know, and everything. She's like, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. I was like, me not even being able to go to class or to school, class or school, or to work or literally to the gym or I can't even go to an empty parking lot. Like, it's not a blessing. It's disgusting. All those people need to get locked up and harassed every single day. Like, I don't leave the house. Because it doesn't matter where I go, I'm going to get harassed or someone's going to try and take me home or kidnap me. Literally, someone tried to take me home from Walmart. He was blocking me in. He had his cart. He was trying to get me in the freaking cart. Like, his whole family was there. Like, come on, let's go. He's like, oh, I'm trying to take her home for my son. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, thing is, I don't sit here and feel sorry for myself, you know. Yes, I know I've had a hard life, but I'm still sitting here today. Yes, I've had a gun in my head about five fucking times. That shit is cold. And it gives me goosebumps, and I have flashbacks all the time. I've had flashbacks every day for the past five years of different stuff. Every single day, 24-7. It does not stop. So don't sit here and tell me I'm lucky for shit. 
Don't tell me I've had an easy life. I had three jobs when I was homeless and that's how I got out of it. So you can shut up and quit feeling sorry for yourself and think everybody else has got it better than you because they don't. Some people do, okay? Some people do. This kid in my class said she had an easy life. I'm like, I didn't think anyone had an easy life. I guess that was me just telling myself that to comfort myself. But I didn't think anybody had an easy life. She's like, yeah, no. I never really do anything. I've never had to work for anything. I'm like, that's crazy because even when I was a kid and I didn't have to work because I was too young, I couldn't work. You know, we didn't have food every day. So, yeah, I was handed things because I was a kid. But, you know, we didn't even have the bare minimum. So, yeah. And I think really I've been thinking about all that stuff because I had this friend over I did not invite her over. Here's the thing. She literally invited herself over for the weekend. So like, I'm going to come stay the weekend with you. I was like, I don't know you. Like, what? And so, it was a big old mess. But anyways, she was over here. And, I, you know, I was asking her about herself and stuff. And she just basically was having a pity party the whole time. Like, you know, saying how bad her life was because her dad went to jail. And she didn't see him for four years and how awful her mom is because her mom makes all the kids move out once they're 18 and she was just having a big freaking pity party i was like okay i didn't say anything she didn't ask me about myself or about any of the same shit that i was asking her about so i just didn't say anything but no she hates that her mom you know made her grow up at 18 i'm like okay my mom left, you know, I haven't seen my dad since I was 12, and my mom left. That was the first time I was homeless. I was still in high school, you know, I was graduating a year early, I was doing everything right. My mom just quit coming home after work. People think there's no excuse to be homeless, you know? Like my old boss that I said was abusive, he said, I don't like homeless people. I was like, well, damn, you know, that's rude. He's like, you like homeless people? I said, I was homeless for a long time. He said, I mean, like sleeping on the streets. I said, yeah, I slept at the beach or at the pier. Like, you think I'm kidding? You think this is funny? He's like, well, where was your mom? Where was your sister? They're the ones who put me on the street. You think it's a choice? You think I'm doing this because I didn't want to listen to rules? Because I wanted to run away? Because I wanted to be grown? No. I wasn't even legal age. I couldn't get a hotel. I couldn't even get an apartment. Yes, I had three jobs, but I couldn't even get housing. I couldn't get shelter. I was too young. That's going to be a story time. So let me know if you want to hear that whole freaking story time. There's a lot of story times I can make about being homeless. Hey, cut that out real fast. Y'all don't tell me what to do after you left me. You don't. You are nuts. Nuts, so. But yeah, that girl left this uh, charger. Crackhead charger. <sighs> but yeah, that's it for this video. I know it's supposed to be like a try on haul, but then it turned into like a rant, and then it turned into like a story time. But anyways, that's it. I'm going to see y'all later. Bye.